self-empowerment and well-being. This was courtesy of Queensland Health Department. I actually had to decline an invitation from the Minister for Indigenous Affairs, Jenny Macklin, to present a keynote speech at the National Healing Conference with Malcolm Fraser in Canberra. And I had to cancel due to my commitments in far north Queensland. Next week I speak here in Perth at a state health conference titled Our Health, Our Future. Then I'm off to Central Australia to Kintore, then back to Perth the week after to a WA alcohol summit. Then I'm over to Rockhampton, Queensland. And so the list goes on. So you can see how demanding my life is working with this crazy woman, Mary G. Thousands of Indigenous and non-Indigenous people are also committed to closing the gap of the inequality between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians. I would like to sincerely thank the Australia Day Council of Western Australia for bestowing onto me, my wife and family, the prestigious honour of being the West Australian of the Year 2008. A title that will not only be recorded in history, but importantly, hold a treasured place in our hearts. I remain committed to representing my state in a manner that assists our community as a whole to heal, embrace, and celebrate the diverse, imperfect community we are. We need to all collectively contribute and make our state an even safer and superior place to live in, to grow a family in, and to protect and respect our elders in. I finally also acknowledge the incoming WA Australian of the Year to be announced in the near future with the other awards associated with this great community institution that recognises great contributions made to our state of Western Australia. I'd like to wrap up by saying thank you all for making the time to be here and be part of this occasion today. We must all embrace each other regardless of race, creed, religion, financial prosperity, middle class or poverty stricken. We must demonstrate our greatness as members of our great state, as Australians, in a manner that unconditionally gives a helping hand in embracing our unique people of this land, the Australian Aborigine. As one famous born rock singer once sang, the time has come. I endeavour to continue doing the great work that I do in my life journey, and I invite everyone to take this journey with me in making real serious contributions to making a difference. We need each other as a community. Finally, I say that I've been so busy since November last year, travelling the length and breadth of this nation, working with this special lady, a feistry lady, bringing laughter, fun, humour and healing messages, trying to make a difference. I believe we are now going to cross over live, is that correct? Um, to Mary G, who is impatiently waiting, I believe. Friends, this lady has taken me to places I've never thought I would go to, see and experience. Hopefully we can cut across live to the sultry, beautiful Queen of the Kimberley, Mary G. Hello, Mary. Can you hear me, Mary? Hello. Hello there, Mary. Are we, she can hear us? Mary. Yeah. But then Mark and Mark is still trying to make a big shot out of himself. <laughs> what? Oh, God, you should have warned me. Hello there, Mark. How are you, darling? <laughs> what, the lunatic can hear me? Or what? You're live, Mary. You're going live. Hello, Mary. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Yes, I'm going live, darling. Not like you, you half dead. <laughs> Poor thing. Where are you? Good God. Who are all those people there? They don't look very smart, do they? <laughs> Typical of the people you associate with. No class. Ah, oh, Mary, look, we're speaking to you from the governor's house here in Perth. 
This is part of the WA Australian of the Year launch in my honor. What do you reckon? Well, that's typical, isn't it? Well, I tell you, Mom, you better hide your knives and forks, for God's sake. I wouldn't trust that man. He'd take chips from a seagull. He did that to me. He stole my limelight. He's always looking for a free meal. Poor thing. <laughs> He's trying. Ah, uh, come on, Mary. Look, um, stop being so hard on me in front of all these great people. Shut up! Mark, I want to say something to you. In a funny kind of way, I am very proud of you. I don't know why, but I think that little bit of Mary G's magic is starting to rub off on you. You think you're a celebrity, but no, you're just black tea with no damper. And me, me, I am royalty. Well, you got no argument with me on that, Mary. Look, these people here have been looking forward to seeing you, and I think you're the highlight for today, and they have a lot of respect for you too. In fact, I'm sure you have many respect secret admirers here in this audience. Have you? Oh, God. Mark, you are a fool, aren't you? Of course I have secret admirers there. I can see them. I can see all of them. And some of them, they have secrets. I won't mention any names. Some of them are even getting nervous right now. They hope I won't mention them. <laughs> I can see all my darlings there. Not to mention my super didgeridoo player, Mr. Dr. Richard Wally. <laughs> Ooh. All these men, we go back a long time. I go back 40,000 years with Mr. Wally. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, Mary. Well, we're having this lunch in my honor, and I'm sure you would like to join in this celebration as you're my inspiration. Yeah. Well, Lee Kernigan kicked your backside, didn't he? <laughs> anyway. I'm very surprised they gave it to you. After all, I am the star. You're just a passenger. Why did they give it to you? Tell me that. Ah, uh, well, Mary, I think it recognises you and me working together. It recognises the great work done by West Australians who contribute to building a greater community. But my name comes first in the alphabet, before yours. What do you reckon about that? Well, that is weak as you know what. <laughs> if that was me, I would have bought the Australian of the Year Award back home to WA. I would have bought Lee Kernigan home too. <laughs> Even though I'm a better singer than him, he can take his hat off for me anytime. He can take everything off, actually. <laughs> but, uh... Well, Mary, time is money and this link up is costing a few dollars. What are you worried about? I don't think you ever paid for anything in your life. You come from the land of the long pocket. <laughs> but I tell you what, Mark, I know where you're coming from. And I know how hard it is to work for the community. Sometimes it's a challenge on your own. But working for community also brings a good feeling. It is not always about accolades and recognition. It's about making a difference. You're different, aren't you? Very different. <laughs> come on, Mary. Please, please, give me a break. A break? You're no Kit Kat, darling. More like a fat cat. <laughs> uh, poor thing. Hey, Mary, you know that old question they ask in philosophy? You know what that is? Phil. Who, Phil? I know a prince named Phil. He's married to a queen. But I'm the queen of the Kimberley, so dear. No, well, the, the question is, if a tree in the forest falls down and no one hears it, did it really happen, Mary? What a stupid question. Typical. Another question, maybe, in philosophy for you, Mary. If a man goes into the forest and speaks his heart and no woman hears him, is he still strong? Is he? You funny man. You're losing it now. <laughs> well, everyone knows I'm a reasonable woman. You can have your say. Long as you don't talk any more of that rubbish phil 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 philosophy. Philosophy. Let's talk about heroes. In fact, i got a song about heroes. You can sing along if you've got any talent. Make yourself useful, Cain Toad. Oh, 